According to a nameless and possibly fictional source, this is the best place to come for fish brochen. Hello. Hello. Hamburg's favourite sandwich. You like Bismarck herring? I'd like to try it, yeah. It's, it's the business. It's the Arthur business. Also, the business bond. Bismarck. <laughs> bon Bismarck. <laughs> Could I have one of those? Because I like my food to look as little like the thing it first was. Seven ninety, please. Seven ninety. Hey, now flipping competitive. Isn't it though? Thank yeah. you very much. Yo. Thank, Thank you. Bye. -bye. If you have a passion for seeing ports up close, you can spaff a stack of euro for a harbour cruise or just jump on the number 62. This is glamorous, isn't it? It's like a triangle reboot. But with more plot. Take a bite of Bismarck. When it was seven euros 90, I thought that's cheap, but yeah. I can really taste the savings, actually. <laughs> like this. Joe, it ain't that bad. Give me some facts, man. You see that rhombus-shaped building over there, Bob? Yep. That marks the official entrance to Hamburg Docks. To Hamburg Docks. Does it have a formal name? It's the Docklands Officer Building. <laughs> hey, but look, you've never climbed up the side no. of a building before. We simply can't believe our good fortune, as the shipyards and the fish market, which has been open for sea produce since 1703, glide by as if in a dream. Sometimes... The weather here is terrible. Is it? It's hard to imagine when you're here on a day like this. It's isn't it? a beautiful day. And seeing the official Hamburg dock office, I never thought that would happen. Not in my lifetime. Yeah. I'll never play Clapton Strat and I'll never see Hamburg's dock office. No. You just live your life believing that, you know? No. The vessel comes to a seamless stop. So many windows. And so little time to look through each individual one. If you had the time, would you? Do the lot and celebrate. You're pointing at something. Yeah. Zitron yeah. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that terribly well. And what's the story? She sold lemons right. by the harbour, as represented by this basket of lemons. Yes, that's just a representation of it's, lemons. It's not yeah. actual lemons. OK. She was sadly attacked. Because of the quality of her lemons? It's hard to know. Please don't know. An orange salesman? Someone from the Anti-Citrus League? I think they were a thing. But the attacks sent her into madness. Right. And um, here we are. And she's pointing her finger out as if offering assistance. And people are, are rubbing that finger Yeah. for good luck. And it's really just a reminder of how cruel life can be, which I also feel is what this show is about. Um. <laughs> One day, you'll be cast in bronze like this, and you'll have to decide on a finger posture. I think that's quite good. It's forceful. It's... Let's see what's up there. 